Mourners gathered Thursday for the funeral of Dante Wright, a 20-year-old black father who was shot dead by a white police officer during a traffic stop in the Minneapolis suburb of Brooklyn Center. Dante's mother, Katie Wright, fought back tears as she remembered her son. I never imagined that I'd be standing here. The roles should completely be reversed. My son should be burying me. Oh, my son had a smile that was worth a million dollars. When he walked in the room, he lit up the room. He was a brother, a jokester. He was loved by so many. He's going to be so missed. A number of prominent Minnesota politicians attended Dante Wright's funeral, including Minneapolis Congresswoman Ilhan Omar, State Attorney General Keith Ellison, Governor Tim Walz, and U.S. Senator Amy Klobuchar. This is Wright family attorney Ben Crump. Before I give the plea for justice, let me have you join me in proclaiming that Dante Wright life mattered. So his mother, Katie and Aubrey Wright, will know that we believe it when we quote it. Up on your feet, if you would. Dante Wright life mattered. Dante Wright life mattered. Dante Wright's funeral came just two days after a jury found former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin guilty of murdering George Floyd in a killing that set off the largest protests in U.S. history. This is a Reverend Al Sharpton who delivered the eulogy at Dante's funeral. The time has come for America to stand up and bring a new day to where we don't have to explain to our children what to do when the police stop you. It's time to bring a new day where we don't have to videotape when we see a badge, but where we know that they're there to serve and protect, not treat us like we've been convicted. The time has come for police to understand they're not above the law, they're to enforce the law.